fold it, stack it, done. How can you create a professional look quickly and easily with just a little effort? By using the mobile fold. No matter what size or style shirt, pant, or towel you're folding, Mobile Fold is designed to create a consistent look with every fold. Mobile Fold will allow you more time to spend with your customers by decreasing your folding time and increasing your selling time. Traditional folding methods have relied on folding boards or by folding on top of a table with no guidelines. This often results in inconsistent size folds and more time wasted. Mobile Fold goes where you need it. Whether you're folding for a wall or a fixture, Mobile Fold is there for you. Mobile Fold's construction is built to last. You'll need to know the following parts of Mobile Fold in order to set up and use the unit. The shelf, the side supports, the handlebar, legs, center and side panels, and the adjustable pins. Let's start by setting up the Mobile Fold. Lay the unit on the ground with the plastic folding panels facing up and the handlebar down. Next, lock the wheels with the brakes by rotating the levers so that the wheels don't spin. You'll notice that only two wheels have the locking brake. From the center of the folding panel, lift up until it stops. It's important that you don't force it further than you need. At this point, you'll notice that the legs are slightly separated from each other. Hold the bottom leg down on the floor and pull up on the top half of the bottom shelf so that it flattens into position. The shelf must be fully flattened with no bend. Now, pull up on the handlebar and stand the unit in an upright position. Please pause the tape and practice setting up the mobile fold unit. To operate the panels for folding, you'll now pull open the side supports until they stop. Fold out the top panel, then the panel that was underneath, opening the folding panel to the outer positions. This will result in a flat surface with left, right, and center panels. You'll notice that Mobile Fold is designed for your convenience. You may stand on either side of the unit when operating. Every store, every fixture, or table calls for a certain size fold and a certain visual look size of the fold changes constantly. One day you may be required to fold all shirts on one fixture to be 9 inches wide, and then the next day you'll need to fold another fixture of shirts to be 13 inches wide. So in order to meet all of the needs of different size folds, the center panel is adjustable for different folding widths. Using the metal pins on the center panel, you can adjust the fold from a 9 inch width to a 13 inch width. Position yourself on one side of the unit so that you can place your hands on the set of push pins closest to you. Place one foot on the shelf to stabilize the unit. But always remember, this is not a step. Push both pins in at the same time. While pushing the pins in, slide the panels toward you until you hear the pins click into place. You will see a set of V-notches. The notches are in half-inch intervals. Therefore, to make a fold with the collar of a shirt remaining in the center, you will need to always adjust both the left and right panel equally for a perfect fold. By adjusting only one side, the shirt will have what we call an off-centered fold. The collar will be towards the left or right and not in the center. The notch scale is actually pretty easy to understand. For a 9-inch fold, the panels will be completely closed. You will see no notches. For a 10-inch fold, you will see a half notch on each side. An 11-inch fold will have a half notch and a full notch and so forth for a 12 and a 13 inch fold. Now, please pause the tape and practice setting the different widths of the panel. You are now ready to fold short sleeve shirts. Now adjust your panels to the desired width. Next, lay the shirt face down. Center the collar by using the notch in the middle of the center panel. If your shirt tail is longer than the panels, simply fold the excess shirt tail by hand onto the panel. 
This will ensure consistency in the length of the fold. The second step is to take hold of the left and right panels. Flip one of the panels over the center and then back open. Then flip the other panel over the center panel and back open. Always flip firmly and at a controlled speed. Flipping too fast or too slow may result in a sloppy fold and having to refold the garment. If the top sleeve ends up beyond the center panel edge, then flip the corresponding panel again to fold the excess sleeve back over the center. You now have an elongated fold. Now, fold the shirt in half, thirds, or quarters to complete the fold. Your final fold should come to the shoulder seam. Pick up the garment by pinching the front and back together and shaking it out. When folding in thirds, your first fold is folded to the shirt's underarm seam. Then fold the bottom to the shoulder seam. When folding in quarters, fold the shirt in half first, then in half again. By doing these folds in this manner, you will ensure a consistent fold. Now, please pause the tape and practice folding a short sleeve shirt. long sleeve shirts, the steps are basically the same as a short sleeve shirt. First, adjust the panel to the desired width. Next, center the shirt on the center panel and fold any excess shirt tail up onto the board. The second step is to fold the cuffs of each sleeve over the back of the shirt so that the outer edge of the folded sleeve is slightly inside the outer edge of the corresponding side panel. Next, flip one of the panels over the center panel and back again then flip the other panel. You now, once again, have an elongated fold. And as with the short sleeve shirt, fold the shirt in half, thirds, or quarters to complete the fold. One hint when doing this is that if you fold the sleeves across the top portion of the shirt, this may result in a top-heavy fold, which may cause problems when creating a stack. To avoid a leaning stack, just reposition the sleeves or try a third fold instead of a half fold. This will evenly distribute the bulk and give you a clean overall presentation. The necessary adjustments will vary depending on the style of the garment and thickness. Please pause the tape and practice folding long sleeve shirts. Pants are folded in a slightly different manner than shirts. For a consistent square fold, you first lay the pants horizontally across the panels so that the side to be displayed is facing down. Adjust the panels so that the hinges are lined up with where you desire the folds to be. The two sides may be adjusted at different widths to accommodate any store or vendor tags or displays. First, fold the pant hem onto the board so that it is even with the outer edge. Now flip the panel on the side of the pant hem. Next, flip the waist side, and your fold is complete. You may need to have the waist lay over the edge of the panel if the vendor labels require a larger fold on top. Watch out, two pants can be folded at one time, saving you more time in the folding process. Now pause the tape and practice folding one pair of pants and then two pairs of pants at the same time. There are many creative ways to fold towels on the mobile fold. We will start by showing you a basic method for folding towels. First, lay the towel across the panels horizontally with the towel dobby or trim to the right and the label facing up. Adjust the position of the towel so that the right edge of the towel hangs approximately one half inch over the right side of the panel. You'll see that when the fold is complete, the extra one half inch gives the towel a more finished, even look and makes the label accessible to the customer. With different sized towels, you may need to vary the overlay to achieve the desired width. Second, you'll need to fold the left edge of the towel so that the left side of the towel is even with the left edge of the panel. Next, flip the left panel and then the right panel. Then, fold the towel in half or in thirds so 
so that the towel dobby is facing up. Your basic towel fold is now complete. Now practice folding towels and be sure the label is accessible to the customer when the fold is complete. Now that you have the basics down on shirts, pants, and towels, let's talk about a few creative folds to wow your displays. First, we'll show you a towel roll. Rolls are made easily with mobile folds. First, lay your towel flat, vertically on the unit with the dobby and label facing up, but centering on the notch on the center panel. Next, fold up any extra towel from each side so that the towel is not hanging off the side, and fold up any excess from the bottom onto the panels. Flip the left side and then the right side. Grab the bottom of the towel and roll upward. You now have a perfectly rolled towel. When you have a shirt with an emblem on it, it's important that a customer be able to see the emblem when the shirt is folded. This will require a little practice and maneuvering of the unit. Adjust the panels to a wider position. Now how wide will be determined by the size and position of the emblem. This will require you practicing on the shirt to find the correct width of the fold. In order to enhance the emblem, tissue may be added. Next, the steps are the same as before, whether it's a short or long sleeve shirt. Our next fold is what we call the Napoleon fold. This is when you have a long sleeve shirt and you want to display the sleeve to show it is a long sleeve. The main difference is to not fold one of the sleeves onto the shirt, but leave it hanging. After folding one sleeve up and flipping each side, you'll see one sleeve hanging off. While the shirt is elongated, double fold the extended sleeve so that the cuff is slightly over the edge of the fold. Now fold in half. Pick up and shake out. Lay the shirt flat and lay over the sleeve. You now have a shirt to display showing the cuff of the sleeve so that your customer will automatically know that it is a long sleeve shirt. The butterfly fold works best on short sleeve shirts. First, center the shirt on the notch on the center panel. Flip the right side. Stop, fold the sleeve out, flip the left side. Stop, and fold the sleeve out. Now, fold the shirt up in half or thirds. Flip the shirt over and fold the sleeves to the front. For a colorful display of shirts, Try folding three t-shirts at one time. Stack the shirts as shown here so that the collar of each shirt can be seen over the shirt below it. Once you have the three shirts stacked, flip one panel, then the other. Either fold in thirds or half. You now have a display of colored shirts to show your customers. The horizontal fold is a fold to create a wide look or display. First, lay the shirt horizontally across the panels so that the underarm seam is even with the hinge of the unit. Second, flip the panel with the bottom hem, then flip the panel with the collar of the shirt. And third, fold the sleeves over the front of the shirt to complete the display. Remember that you can add tissue to any of these folds we've discussed. Now, practice folding some of these creative folds. Mobile Fold is designed to make your job easier, less time folding, and more time for you to be able to spend with your customers. The design of the unit was made with you in mind, a good height so you don't have to bend over when folding. It's also very easy to store. First, flip both side panels over the center panel and push in the side supports. Next, lock the wheels by turning the brake lever. Once the wheels are locked, Lay the unit on the ground so that the handlebar is facing the ground. From either side, fold the top leg with one hand and push the underside of the shelf with your other hand. This will start the closing of the shelf and top leg. As the shelf and legs begin to close, continue to push the leg down until the top wheels touch the floor. With one hand, push the center of the folding panels down. 
The folding panels should be touching the legs with the two shells completely closed. While standing the unit upright, it's important that all four wheels be turned out, pointing away from the unit. We hope you enjoy your new unit and enjoy the consistent and professional look you create for your area.